Well, howdy there, friends. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from The Cosby Show have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2023. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. Number 1. Bill Cosby as Dr. Heathcliff, Cliff Huxtable. Cliff is like a symphony of a quirk, conducting his own unique orchestra of life. He dances to the rhythm of his whimsical whims, leaving you perpetually intrigued and entertained. He's the human embodiment of a surprise party, always ready to pop out with a goofy grin and a punchline that'll have you in stitches. His family might find it curious at his antics, but beneath that zany exterior beats the heart of a gentle giant. Cliff is the kind of guy who'd give you the shirt off his back, even if that shirt happens to be polka-dotted and two sizes too big. Cliff is a competitor to the core. When he's not busy perfecting his impression of a rubber chicken, he's locked in a fierce monthly battle of wits and cards at the Pinocchio table. It's like the Super Bowl of card games, and Cliff plays to win. Passions run high, laughter echoes louder, and the thrill of competition keeps the heart of this quirky maestro beating strong. One of America's most well-loved entertainers for a half-century, comedian, actor, and producer Bill Cosby enjoyed considerable success as a recording artist and television star in such series as I Spy, NBC 1965-68, and The Cosby Show. NBC 1984-1992, before his career and reputation were demolished by numerous accusations of sexual assault, which resulted in his imprisonment in 2018. Cosby was convicted on three counts of aggravated indecent assault, resulting in a three- to ten-year prison sentence in a Pennsylvania state prison. Shockingly, around 60 women have come forward with accusations ranging from rape to sexual battery and misconduct. These accusations brought about a significant downfall in his career and public image. In 2020, the Pennsylvania Department of Corrections released an updated mugshot of Cosby, who was then 83 years old. The image showed him with gray hair and pallid skin, reflecting the somber turn of events in his life. Dr. Heathcliff, Cliff Huxtable, played by Bill Cosby when he was 47 years old, and now he is 85 years old. Number two, Felicia Rashad as Claire Huxtable. Claire is the blueprint of the superwoman, the embodiment of an exemplary wife and mother. She's the tranquil center of the family storm, seamlessly blending love, care, and wisdom in a way that seems almost supernatural. In the world of multitasking, she's the undisputed champion, juggling family, work, and everything in between, with grace that leaves you in awe. But Claire isn't just about maternal magic. She's a wordsmith extraordinaire. Her eloquence and intelligence make her words resonate like pearls of wisdom, leaving everyone around her captivated. Claire is the kind of person you want in your corner during a debate or a tough decision. With her, you've got the best of both worlds. The intellect to navigate any challenge and the street smarts to keep it real. Felicia Rashad, who portrayed Claire Huxtable, became an icon of the 1980s. Her character, Claire Huxtable, was not only a lawyer, but also a mother of five children. She symbolized the idea of women having it all, successfully managing a thriving career and a strong household simultaneously. Following the conclusion of The Cosby Show in 1992, Felicia Rashad continued to excel in her acting career, often taking on powerful female roles. One of her notable roles was portraying the mother of Angelo Dubois and Diana Dubois in the third and fourth seasons of Empire. Rashad also returned to her Broadway roots with significant roles such as Faye in Skeleton Crew, 2022, Big Mama in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, 2008, and Violet in August Osage County, 2007, among numerous other productions. 
In late 2023, audiences can look forward to seeing her in the new TV series, Diara from Detroit. The series revolves around a recently divorced schoolteacher from Detroit, navigating the challenges of her post-divorce life and modern dating, as she refuses to believe that her Tinder date rejected her. Claire Huxtable played by Felicia Rashad when she was 36 years old, and now she is 75 years old. Number 3. Malcolm Jamal Warner as Theo Huxtable. Theo is your quintessential rebel without a cause, a magnet for socializing, sports, and, of course, the mystique of the opposite gender. Trouble seems to find him like a heat-seeking missile, but deep down, he's a genuine soul with a heart as big as his misadventures are. Now, let's be honest. Theo might not have his life's purpose on speed dial, but hey, who does at that age? He's still figuring out the map of life, and wrong turns are just part of the journey. As for his parents, well, they're like a well-tuned Greek chorus of nagging and advice. It might seem like they're taking the fun out of everything, but trust me, it's all because they've got his future on their radar. Theo's just got to squint a bit to see the silver lining in their clouds of caution. The world first fell in love with Malcolm Jamal Warner as the good-hearted Theo Huxtable. After The Cosby Show, he's had a prolific career. After The Cosby Show, he and Eddie Griffin starred in the sitcom Malcolm and Eddie, about a pair of best friends who managed to be co-workers and roommates, which ran from 1996-2000. Following his time on The Cosby Show, Malcolm Jamal Warner continued to have a prolific career in the entertainment industry. He embarked on a successful collaboration with Eddie Griffin, starring in the sitcom Malcolm and Eddie from 1996 to 2000. The show centered around two best friends who not only worked together, but also shared living quarters. Afterward, Warner made appearances in both guest and regular roles on various television shows. Some of his notable contributions include extended runs on series like Major Crimes, Suits, and Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. In 2018, he joined the cast of the medical drama The Resident, portraying the volatile surgeon Dr. A.J. Austin. More recently, he made an appearance in an episode of Fox's crime anthology drama Accused. Despite the evolving perceptions of The Cosby Show, Malcolm Jamal Warner remains proud of the show's legacy. He acknowledges its profound impact on both Black and American culture and continues to regard his involvement in the iconic series with pride. Theo Huxtable, played by Malcolm Jamal when he was 14 years old, and now he is 52 years old. Number 4. Kesia Knight Pulliam as Rudy Huxtable. Rudy, the youngest member of the clan, might be pint-sized, but she's bursting with an uncanny ability to navigate the twists and turns of life effortlessly. Her secret? An infectious positivity that's like a guardian angel keeping her well clear of trouble. With her wide-eyed wonder and a smile that could melt the iciest of hearts, Rudy is nothing short of a bundle of joy. In the eyes of her siblings and parents, she's a precious gem, a ray of sunshine that brightens even the gloomiest of days. But it's not just her infectious charm that makes her so beloved. Rudy possesses a deep admiration for her family members, looking up to them with awe and respect. Gratitude and deference flow from her like a gentle stream, a testament to her profound appreciation for the love and guidance she's showered with. Kesia Knight Pulliam gained fame and made history as Rudy Huxtable on The Cosby Show when she earned an Emmy nomination at the tender age of six. Her portrayal of the precocious fifth Huxtable child endeared her to audiences of all ages. Following her time on The Cosby Show, Kesia Knight Pulliam continued to work in the entertainment industry. She appeared in several television shows and reality programs. Since 2007, she has played the role of Miranda Lucas Payne on Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Additionally, she has made appearances on shows like Celebrity Big Brother and starred in Lifetime movies such as Radio Christmas and Pride and Prejudice Atlanta. Rudy Huxtable played by Kesia Knight Pulliam when she was five years old and now she is 44 years old. Number 5. Tempest Bledsoe as Vanessa Huxtable 
Vanessa is an example of a good daughter and often appears as a picture of innocence. Yet beneath that facade lies a mischievous streak, especially evident in her frequent skirmishes with her younger sister, Ruby. After all, what's a family without a healthy dose of sibling rivalry? Peer pressure might knock on Vanessa's door, but she's no pushover. Armed with her intelligence, she's a force to be reckoned with. Her sharp wit and quick thinking are her secret weapons, allowing her to navigate the perilous waters of teenage influence and emerge victorious. In her, we find the perfect blend of youthful exuberance and sagacious decision-making. She reminds us that even in the midst of family squabbles and the trials of adolescence, a bright mind can be a compass that guides us through life's tricky terrain. As the fourth child of Cliff and Claire Huxtable, behind Sandra, Denise, and Theo, Vanessa Huxtable grew up in front of the camera on The Cosby Show, facing the many trials that come with being a teen. After The Cosby Show went off the air, Tempest Bledsoe, who brought Vanessa to life, briefly hosted The Tempest Bledsoe Show and landed a recurring role on The Practice. In the late 2008s, Tempest voiced the character Abby on The Replacements and was seen in the short-lived sitcom Guys with Kids in 2013. The New York University graduate has appeared on series like House Husbands of Hollywood, Clean House, and The Talk. Vanessa Huxtable played by Tempest Bledsoe when she was 11 years old, and now she is 49 years old. Number 6. Sabrina LeBeauf as Sandra Huxtable Tibido. Sandra, the eldest among her siblings, bears the mantle of expectations with grace. Her parents gaze upon her with pride, acknowledging her intellect and achievements. Yet this elevated status also means that she is held to a loftier standard compared to her brothers and sisters. The weight of these expectations can at times be a mixed blessing, a responsibility, and a burden. In her role as the eldest, Sandra serves as a guiding light, exemplifying the significance of diligence and perseverance. She leads not only by her words, but through her actions, showcasing the value of responsibility and hard work to her younger siblings and anyone fortunate enough to know her. Sandra Huxtable, an integral character in The Cosby Show, was not initially present in the pilot episode, but was introduced later in the series. Sabrina LeBeauf portrayed Sandra as a college sophomore during her first appearance. Throughout the show's run, Sabrina skillfully brought the character of Sandra to life. Following her time on The Cosby Show, Sabrina LeBeauf continued her acting career with appearances on several television shows, including Star Trek The Next Generation, the animated series Fatherhood, and The Sinbad Show. She also engaged in theatrical work and collaborated with the Shakespeare Theater Company in Washington, D.C. Sandra Huxtable Thibodeau played by Sabrina LeBeauf when she was 26 years old and now she is 65 years old. Number 7. Lisa Bonet as Denise Huxtable. Meet Denise, the queen of spontaneity. She doesn't just march to the beat of her own drum. She dances, cartwheels, and backflips to it without a second thought. Spontaneity isn't just in her toolkit. It's her middle name. While some folks might throw around words like lazy or scatterbrained, Denise prefers terms like industrious and life enthusiast. She's not one for meticulously planned to-do lists and color-coded calendars. No, she's too busy seizing the day, one unplanned adventure at a time. Denise isn't reckless. She's just living life unscripted. For her, every day is a blank canvas, and she wields the brush with gusto. Consequences? Those are just surprises waiting to happen, and she's always up for a good plot twist. In Denise's world, conformity is a foreign language, and she's not interested in translation. She's the free spirit who soars on the wings of her heart's desires, painting the sky with her passion. Whether it's chasing fireflies on a summer night, backpacking through uncharted territories, or deciding to learn the ukulele on a whim, she's all in.
The iconic headstrong Denise Huxtable was brought to life by Lisa Bonet, and shortly after her debut on The Cosby Show, Denise became the show's most popular character. Shortly after her debut, Denise became one of the show's most popular characters. This popularity led to her character getting a spin-off series titled A Different World. Although Lisa's performance in the first season of the spin-off received mixed reviews, her career took various turns in the years that followed. During this period, Lisa Bonet married musician Lenny Kravitz and gave birth to their daughter, Zoe Kravitz, in 1988. She returned to The Cosby Show full-time in 1989. After divorcing Lenny Kravitz in 1993, Lisa went on to marry actor Yason Momoa in 2017. The couple welcomed a daughter named Lola in 2007 and a son named Nakoa Wolf in 2008. Following her time on The Cosby Show, Lisa Bonet continued to build her acting career. She appeared in films like Enemy of the State and High Fidelity and took on roles in television series such as Drunk History, Girls, The Red Road, and Ray Donovan. Her career has been marked by a diverse range of roles and experiences in the entertainment industry. Denise Huxtable played by Lisa Bonet when she was 17 years old and now she is 55 years old. Number 8. Jeffrey Owens as Elvin Thibodeau Elvin is like the mad scientist of comedy, mixing his medical dreams with a generous dose of goofiness. He might be dissecting frogs in the lab one minute and tripping over his own shoelaces the next. Who knew becoming a doctor could be this entertaining? His sense of humor is as quirky as a rubber chicken at a formal dinner. He's the guy who can turn a solemn lecture into a stand-up comedy show, leaving his classmates in stitches. His jokes are like prescription maids for a bad day, guaranteed to make you feel better. But it's not just his humor that's infectious. It's his clumsiness, too. Elvin could trip over a shadow, spill coffee on his textbooks, and somehow managed to set off the fire alarm in the cafeteria all in one day. If there's a banana peel on the floor, you can bet he'll find it. Owens began his career on the stage, developing an affinity for Shakespeare, which led him to found and direct the Brooklyn Shakespeare Company, as well as perform and teach the subject at institutions like Columbia and Yale. Owens's television debut was in his most notable role. In 1985, he joined the cast of The Cosby Show, NBC 1984-1992. As Elvin Thibodeau, Sandra Huxtable's boyfriend, he became a regular player and stayed with the show until its end. He had to take the job due to the instability of acting jobs, said he felt he was the victim of job shaming, and gained many supporters. Tyler Perry offered him a part on the former's show, The Haves and the Have-Nots. Oprah Winfrey Network, 2013, which Owens accepted. Elvin Thibodeau played by Jeffrey Owens when she was 24 years old, and now he is 62 years old. Number 9. Raven Simone as Olivia Kendall. In the later seasons, Olivia graces the household with her presence, and boy does she make an entrance. She's a bundle of joy wrapped in curiosity and tied up with a bow of comedic timing. Her innocent yet sassy remarks are like comedy gold, leaving us in fits of laughter as she effortlessly steals the spotlight. Raven Simone successfully transitioned from a precocious child actor to a multi-talented entertainer, all without succumbing to the pitfalls of fame. Early in her career, Simone worked with comedy legend Bill Cosby on his long-running and beloved family series The Cosby Show. NBC 1984-1992 Plucked from relative obscurity, Simone matched wits and bantered with Cosby, soon winning the hearts of millions of viewers as one of America's funniest kids. Through her work, Simone also taught millions of young viewers to embrace their body type and promoted positive self-esteem. Years after That's So Raven went off the air, Simone continued to entertain, all while maintaining the cheerful and inspirational qualities that made her one of Hollywood's most memorable child stars. Olivia Kendall played by Raven Simone when she was four years old, and now he is 37 years old. Number 10. Joseph Phillips as Martin Kendall. 
In a family where dreams and aspirations run wild, Kendall is the wind beneath Denise's wings. He doesn't just encourage her. He's her number one cheerleader, waving pom-poms and shouting from the rooftops. To him, her dreams are his dreams, and he'll move mountains to see them come true. But Kendall doesn't stop at being a dream advocate. He's the embodiment of stability and maturity in a whirlwind of family antics. While others may be swirling in a storm of spontaneity, he's the calm in the chaos, the lighthouse guiding them safely to shore. Family is everything to Kendall, and it's not just a word, it's a way of life. He brings a sense of togetherness that glues the Huxtable clan. His love is the glue that holds them all together, the glue that makes a house a home. Balancing a military career with family life is no small feat, but Kendall does it with grace and determination. He's the embodiment of a hero, not just in uniform, but in the everyday battles of life. He's the one who fights for his family, who stands strong when the going gets tough. Martin Kendall played by Joseph Phillips when he was 23 years old, and he is 61 years old. Number 11. Erica Alexander as Pam Tucker. At first, Pam might seem like an outsider, like a traveler in a foreign land. The Huxtables, with their unique way of life, can be a bit like stepping into a whirlwind. But Pam doesn't just adapt, she thrives. She's the chameleon who seamlessly blends into her new surroundings, making herself right at home. Alexander made her TV series debut as Claire Huxtables, Felicia Rashad, 17-year-old less privileged second cousin Pam on the last two seasons of The Cosby Show, NBC 1990-1992. When that show's run ended, she showed up the following season as the proud but insecure medical student Cheryl Carter on the short-lived series Going to Extremes, ABC. Pam Tucker played by Erica Alexander when she was 21 years old and she is 53 years old. We really love the cast of The, the Cosby Show. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you on the next video.